I'm going to show you something on my screen that Google put out. And it's called Think with Google. Let's bring up my screen. Thinkwithgoogle.com actually is going to show you a lot of the data that's been disputed for so long that people are, no, no, Pinterest is leading the way. Oh my gosh, if you really have a business, you need to get on Pinterest. No, you need to get on Instagram. No, Twitter is leading the way. I mean, seriously, you're all missing it. We need to all get on Google+. Plus. You can all stop listening to what everyone's surmising, and let's look at the data. So it's thinkwithgoogle.com forward slash mobile planet. You pull up the country that you want. And so obviously we have clients in over 200 countries now. We have clients who are in my coaching programs who fly in every year from all over the world. What we see in front of us here is the usage of social networking platforms on a smartphone. This is the nation that I'm going to refer to you quite a bit today. I'm going to be talking about its, I guess, sister, <laughs> right next door, Twitter. But 89% of the, the usage on a smartphone is being done on Facebook. We see over here, Pinterest has got 17.8 and Instagram 18.8. So these two are like, you know, having it out every single day. Over here is Google+. Plus. For those of you who thought and you listened to somebody who said everybody's leaving Facebook and you need to get over on Google Plus because that's where business is going, you can ignore them now. <laughs> There's no need to argue about it. Please go where the people are. If you go where the people are, that's where business is. You see, I've been a copywriter for 18 years and all of the years that I've been online, I've been writing my own copy. The interesting thing is, is that you need to go where the people are. So the next time somebody says to you, no, 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 direct mail is still leading the way. Someone says to you, no, 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 infomercials are still the place where we're going to make the most amount of money and so on. You can fill in the blank with any direct response marketing channel you want. There's no platform on the planet other than social media where billions of people are connecting real time all at the same time than anywhere else, anywhere. So I don't care if you're a major news network. I don't care if you're one of the multi-billion dollar brands that I now have the um, absolute honor of really being the brain child behind everything that's going on in their social media platform and even you know tweeting and Facebooking for them. Or I don't care if you're a small mom and pop trying to make your first $10,000 online. Go where the people are. We see that on smartphones, it's dominating on Facebook. Now, check this out. When we get into behaviors, now we're going to go on the behaviors of what's going on on a computer. Now, this is going to change a little bit. We are going to definitely see Pinterest rises just 1.3%, okay, just a, uh, just a little bit here above Inst uh, above um, Instagram. Actually, it's quite high. LinkedIn is there. But what's interesting you see is Instagram is built on this platform. Now grab your pen and paper because I'm about to say something to you. And actually, we are in a global culture and this little baby is steering it. So everything we're going to talk about today, I need you to take off some of that programming that you've heard that seriously, Sandy, do you really think that people mind ads popping up in their feed? Seriously, Sandy, don't you think this is going to destroy Twitter and Facebook and Instagram? Well, you know, if you go back, 18% of people are noticing, it could be multi-trillion now, a multi-billion dollar industry driven by mobile ads. Okay, so think that through. They're spending a ton of money. They're using this device to make their purchase and very few are paying attention to it. They, they don't even, they don't say they even notice it. Usage of the smartphone, which is very interesting at the beginning of their journey. Look at this. 31%, 29%, 42% say they don't use my smartphone in all of these situations. But what's very interesting is that in the middle of my shopping, I'm going to be on this baby asking my friends what they think about the product. Maybe I'm going to go on Amazon.com. That's what I do. I mean, I go into a store and I just scan 
the code and it pulls up on Amazon and I can read hundreds of reviews. Because of like 3,500 people love maybe three, four, five stars, I, I typically wouldn't get it if it's less than four stars, then I know, I mean, seriously, 3,400 reviews on Amazon is not going to lie. I'm going to go on my platform. Now, seriously, I've got hundreds of thousands of people on Facebook and Twitter, and I've got people on Instagram. All I got to do is take a picture of it on Instagram and say, do you guys ever use this? Have you ever tried this? Now, what I want you to, to really wrap your mind around there's a lot of people who say, is using ads really the way to build a brand, to build marketing, to direct like your marketing path, you know, as far as growing a, a large community on Facebook and Twitter, is that the best way to do that? Some of you might say, seriously, Sandy, did you buy 295,000 followers on Facebook? No, I didn't. What I did is what any good direct response marketer does. I spoke their language. As a matter of fact, I didn't pitch them. 95 to 97% of my ads, and some of you are about to just like go, what did she just say? Do not even have a call to action on them on Facebook and Twitter. But I'm, and I'm going to show you why in another session. But I go where, remember the billions of people are, I have the honor now to get in front of them while they're on this device. How many of you have walked through the airport and like, you know, people are walking into things because they're looking at their phone and, and they're, I mean, they're in the bathroom. You're thinking, oh my God, please put your phone away when you go to the bathroom. What's interesting to me is that this whole culture is being driven around this little device. This is where your advertising efforts should be focused. 